Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel, if you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. I am here today with the third pack with me video. Today I wanted to share with you guys everything that I'm going to be taking inside my carry-on with me on my upcoming flight. I already filmed what I packed in my makeup and toiletries and also what I am checking in. So I will go ahead and link those two videos down below. But today I wanted to share with you guys what I am taking as a carry on. Usually I do like to carry on just because I always pack inside my carry on items that I think are valuable or that I'm scared that they're going to break. Not really because they don't fit inside my checked in bag, just because I feel better and feel that they're safer keeping them with me on plane. Most of the time I always take a backpack. Sometimes I'll take like a backpack, maybe like a crossbody bag. Other times I'll actually take a carry-on suitcase that you can roll and my backpack. So it just depends on the type of trip. I have carried on before, like when I really want to pack light, I'll carry on all my clothes and all that on the flight. For this trip, that's not the case. I mentioned in the last two videos, these are not packing light type videos. These are videos, I'm gonna be going away for two and a half weeks. So of course, it's a little bit more than you would take on a one week trip or on a weekend trip. And yeah, and definitely it's not a trip where I wanted to pack light, but I always like to be organized, which is why I always like to share these videos with all of you. But I also just think it gives you some ideas and some tips and tricks on how to pack your bags, whether you go light or whether you just, just take as much as you can. I mean, always, you should definitely always have limits to what you pack. I also don't believe in like overpacking and like taking like 20,000 pairs of shoes and things like that. But I do believe that sometimes, you know, if you want to take a little bit more stuff just for your trip, for the comfort of your trip, that's also, you know, it's really not a bad thing. Same thing goes for what I'm carrying with me on the flight. Like, for example, for this trip, I definitely want to take my big camera because I'm going to be going to Europe. I'm going to be taking a trip in the Mediterranean. So you definitely want to get those memories with your big camera. My big camera, which is the one that I'm using to film right now, is not one that I usually take on all my trips. I'll usually take my vlogging camera. But for this trip, I'll be taking both of those. It's a bit complicated at the beginning because I had a carry-on bag that I had planned on taking. And I ended up going today to buy another one just because it was so small. So let me go ahead and share that with you guys first. Initially, this is the bag that I was going to take. This bag is from the brand Eagle Creek and I bought it on ebags.com. So when I tried to pack everything in here, it just did not fit. Then when I started looking at the measurements, this bag is actually the international carry-on and it's actually a little smaller than even the airline I'm going on um, has those limits. Like it's not, it's smaller than the maximum limit that Iberia Airlines allows, even American Airlines. Because this is international carry-on, the domestic carry-on is a little bit bigger, but I don't think I would recommend this bag. I just think it was just way too small. It's pretty much like the size of a backpack, but that you roll it. It might look big on camera, but it really is really, really tiny. So I was just having so much trouble packing this tiny little carry-on that today I ended up going out and buying a new bag. Hold on, let me open this one. So I can show you how small the compartment in the inside is. That's a compartment. It doesn't even really open all the way, but it pretty much just ends right here. And this is the compartment of the inside of this bag. So really my stuff just did not fit. So the bag that I ended up getting, which I'll show you right now, is from the brand Victorinox. I love that brand from Victorinox. I bought it at Bloomingdale's. They carry that brand. I know you can also get it at Macy's or even on the Victorinox website. But this is a brand that I have tested out before. If you have seen any of my packing videos before this year, you would have seen some purple bags that I used to always carry. Those bags, I swear, they lasted me, I would say, I mean, I know it's plus 10 years. I don't know, maybe even 15 years. I've had those bags forever, and those bags lasted a long time. Yes, they were very expensive, but those really held up their value till the end. They're still perfect as far as being functional. They're just really dirty from when you throw them around in the airport that they're almost looking like black, but they're purple, and they were great. So that is like a trusted brand. I have to say that I do like it more 
than the Eagle Creek bags so far. I mean, I like the Eagle Creek bag that's a spinner that I showed in my checked in bag video, but I just think that the quality of the Victorinox ones is a little bit of a higher level. It was a sale that went like from 50% off, 60% off, I think even like 30% off. I forgot what it was, but I got lucky because this one was 60% off. So from 500 to 179.99. And that's the one that I ended up getting. And it looks like this. So you can see that it is bigger. Let me try to hold them side by side. So you see the difference? Something that really makes me really angry is when you carry your bag on the flight. I have had really bad experiences where they want to take your bag away and check it in. I know they tell you that they want to check it in for free, but it still just really pisses me off because the reason I'm carrying something on the flight is not because, you know, I want to carry it on just because I felt like it. I want to carry it on because it's valuable. I don't want to lose it. It is better just to get a smaller size like the Eagle Creek just because that one is so small that no one's gonna tell you that it's too big to put in the overhead compartment. Sometimes the overhead compartments are filled up, so I always recommend getting on that flight as soon as possible so you can get a nice little space in the overhead compartment. It's a standard carry-on bag, but it's what they would call, I think, the domestic carry-on versus the international carry-on. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and link both of those down below because maybe you want a smaller one, maybe you want a bigger one, but I know that there's two common sizes, like the domestic and the international type of carry-on. So I better stop yapping and show you everything that I'm gonna be taking inside my carry-on. The backpack that I'm gonna be taking is from Eagle Creek, and it is actually the matching backpack that goes with the luggage that I'm gonna be taking which is actually what's supposed to match the carry-on and it also goes into the carry-on really well because it has a little strap here that you can put but that'll work on any bag so I'm not really worried about that. I hate when my camera, whenever you show like greens or blues, my camera gets a weird color so that's why the color just changed for a second but it'll come right back. So this backpack I actually really like a lot. This is definitely one that I recommend. I like it because it stretches out really nice. You can make that thing really big. So if you buy some stuff on the trip, you don't know where to put it, you can shove it inside this backpack. It stretches out nicely. It also has a ton of pockets that you can use. It has a laptop compartment in the back, just in case. Sometimes I even put my iPad there. Actually put this through the Thing that you pull of your carry-on with a wheel so that you don't have to carry it on your back or you can carry it on your back it even has a little strap for your waist in case it's too heavy I'll try to film a little bit of it where I'm actually filming inside the backpack but now I just kind of wanted to show you guys everything that I'm gonna be taking with me. something I always like to take inside my carry-on is kind of like a duffel bag these always come in handy this is a long champ that you can fold it in, but it's actually like a bag. It's a pretty big bag. I like to take this with me just in case I buy something and I need some more space on the way back, or because I'm really paranoid that they're gonna take away my carry-on bag that rolls and there's gonna be some valuables that I need to take out and I can put it inside this bag. I always carry a neck pillow with me. This is a neck pillow that one of my mom's best friend got me and it's really comfortable because you can go to the sides or you can even fall forward and it holds your neck really, really well. So I'm taking this one with me. This is from the brand Ecozy and it's cute because it's purple on one side and blue on the other. Always good to take a pashmina or a scarf. I try to always pick a black one just because I can always wash it at my destination and use it for the evening and black will always match with everything. This is just like a really soft pashmina just in case you get a little chilly on the flight and you wanna cover up with something else. You can also take a scarf or a little blanket, whatever you want, but I think a pashmina is something that is multifunctional. You can actually use it and wear it while you're on the trip, but it can also help keep you warm on the flight. So this is pretty much the handbag that I plan to be using a lot on the trip. I'm gonna be taking a lot of excursions when I'm on the cruise mainly. So I wanted to take sort of a backpack and this one is from Henry Bendel. It is their convertible backpack. This was, this one is in all leather. I know that they also have it in canvas. I actually got mine personalized right here with my initials. And I bought this a while ago and I haven't used it, but this bag is great because you can use it as a backpack. 
like this, or you can use it as a crossbody, or you can even just carry it like this, and it is a nude color. So this is something that goes well with everything. As far as the accessories, I mean, it's not bad. You can always take a little pop of color, but for something that you're gonna be wearing over and over again, I think that a nude colored handbag or bag like this comes in handy. A lot of the times, this is something that I probably would put in my check bag, just because, yeah, it's an expensive handbag, but it's not like, you know, a high-end Louis Vuitton or like a Gucci or something like that Chanel bag. But I just didn't want to either way. I'd rather take it with me just in case because it's brand new. I haven't worn it and it wasn't cheap either. But I think this is really convenient for the trip and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. The reason I wanted something a little bit bigger is because I'm going to be taking my big camera and I think like my camera will fit in here, my sunglasses, all my stuff that I need, especially for the excursions, the paperwork, all that stuff I can carry in here. Also taking my Pam bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Sienna in the Damier Ben, which is this one right here. This is one of my most used bags. It's very versatile. It goes with everything. I feel like this is something that I would be wearing every single day, especially when I'm in Spain. Not so much when I'm going on the excursions, but the week before the cruise. Also, since this is a bag that is, it's not a flat bag and I don't want to flatten it, I did go ahead and put a couple things in here because it fills out the space. So in here I have a pair of Henry Bendel sunglasses. These are in nude. So I thought that these are nice sunglasses to take. So these are the ones that I'm definitely going to be taking on the trip. I might also take my navy blue Gucci's that I got when I was in Las Vegas. But I did want a pair that wasn't so fancy to also take just in case. Then in here I have my brush cup. This is where I have my makeup brushes. And instead of carrying it inside, you know, instead of putting it in the carry-on bag loose, I just put it inside this purse right here and it does keep its shape. Then I also have, well, here's a strap because this is a bag that um, you can wear as a crossbody or on the shoulder. I also have these glasses here just because if I go on the cruise, if I'm on the pool or at the beach, these are like cheapy glasses that you can take and that I can wear and if they get ruined or they get scratched with the sand, I really won't care because I think they were like five bucks or something like that. So I just kind of threw these in here. I even just considered two seconds ago getting rid of them and taking them out because I already have the Henry Bendels. But I feel like this is just, you know, for when you want to just throw it inside a beach bag and get them all dirty and oily with your sunscreen and all that stuff. I'd rather just get that on my cheap glasses that cost me five bucks than on my nice ones. Then I have another little Henry Bendel pouch. This is a pouch that always gets messy because this is a pouch that has all the cords. Here I have my camera chargers, iPhone and iPad cables. I have a converter for converting the electricity because basically all these like this Canon um, battery chargers, the iPhone, um, all those chargers are dual voltage, so you don't have to convert them, you can adapt them. I don't know if before when I showed this, this is an adapter, not a converter. It doesn't convert the voltages, but it adapts basically the plug. I like to keep these all in a little bag so that I don't have all the wires going all over the place. I definitely take this inside my carry-on because if I lose my luggage for a day or something, I can charge my phone and all those things with this. This next item might be a bit much. It's not something that I take on every trip, but if it fits, I'm gonna take it when I pack everything in there. This is my little Bose Bluetooth speaker. This is the best. I wish I had a smaller one, but I don't. And this is still pretty small. It actually, I have a case with it, but I felt like the case took up a lot of space. So since I'm taking it in my in my carry-on, I just put it in this in this bag. This is meant for like men's shoes. Not something that you need on a flight, but I'm gonna take it just because I love getting ready at the house and listening to music. And if it fits, it's going with me. I'm also taking this makeup mirror. Hotel rooms have really crappy lighting. I'm not gonna lie that I did consider taking that makeup mirror that it's on my desk. Do you guys see it there, that black mirror? That is the makeup mirror that I got at the Gabby T M U A makeup class that was held by BoxyCharm. I seriously tried to pack it, 
but the shape would just not go well in my carry-on and then I just thought okay that you're getting a little bit crazy now Valen. so I just decided not to take it but I had gotten this one from Amazon a while ago and I haven't used it yet it's from the brand is it buddy face it's b-u-t-y face and it looks like this so it opens up like this this is kind of like a stand I guess and it opens up like this it does light up you see how it lit up the light is not as powerful as the one I got from the makeup class but this one is better than nothing it's also small it comes in its little case so yeah I'm packing it this is something that I can probably put inside my check bag I guess I didn't just because it's a mirror and I don't want it to break but um if it comes to it it's something that I wouldn't mind putting there it wasn't that expensive got it on amazon.com so I'll go ahead and link it down below another bag I'm gonna be taking is my pochette Matisse in the red since I use a lot of black I always like to add a little bit of color with this red bag I love it because it's crossbody it's definitely something that I can use in the evening or even during the day Probably during the day when I'm in Spain, in the evening when I'm going to be going to dinner on the cruise. I like it because it's flat, it packs easily, and it's just something that will come in nice and handy. So those are pretty much all the handbags that I'm going to be taking on the trip. So I have the backpack that I showed you from Henry Bentel and the two Louis Vuitton bags. These are the same bags that I took when I went to Las Vegas. They're just so convenient and so comfortable. I'm so happy with those two choices, with those two purchases from Louis Vuitton because they come in so handy. Those are probably the two bags that I have worn the most since I bought them. I mean, I haven't touched anything else this year. Next is my jewelry and I wanted to share with you guys this new jewelry case that I got. This is what it looks like. I got this case on the Purse N website. Purse N is the same brand of the makeup bag that I shared with you guys in my last two videos. I'll go ahead and link it below. I think I already mentioned that, but I'll just show you really quickly right now. I won't go into it, but since I'm taking it with me in my carry-on, I'll show it to you guys right now. But this is another organizer bag for organizing your jewelry, and it is so, so cool. So I originally wanted it the same print as the makeup bag, but it was sold out and they didn't have it, so I got it in this blue. So this is how it looks like when it is open it pretty much has little baggies that are attached to the bag where you can put your jewelry see how i put some jewelry there i have some jewelry here and here and then you have three in the center that are attached by something but you can actually let them move. see here are what the bags look like individually and there you can put your jewelry and then they're clear cases so you can see what jewelry you have inside the bag. And those were attached to these little things in the middle. So you kind of just like put the little ring of the patch, you see that ring right there, through that little belt and then you close it up. So it has three that are in the middle attached to this. And then it has three more attached to the corners of the bags. These are not detachable, but you can also put your jewelry in there. The same, the other side is the exact same thing. Oh, I just realized I never took out this cardboard <laughs> from Purse N. The other side has the exact same thing. It has one on this side, one on this side, and one on this side that's attached. And then in the center, you have this one that you can actually remove. So see here, you can lift it up and remove those three if you wanted to. So I just thought that this was a really cool concept. All the little baggies are clear, but they're really cute because it has a black and white striped background. And I just thought that it was a really pretty blue. And you can also fit other things in here. Like right now I had some bracelets in these cases that they fit here perfectly. It has this zipper up here. You see that? So if you pack too much jewelry, you can always unzip it and expand it so it expands a little bit and that helps you out so this was really cute they're not cheap but you can check them out on the website but i just thought it's really thought this was a genius idea so there it is again all closed up and it's just a cute little square type of shape i just think that this is adorable so in my carry-on is the makeup case that i share with you guys in that last video also from purse n i'll give you a quick peek so here you have the bag with all the makeup there and the palettes up here. So that is ready to be put 
inside the carry-on everything here so far that i showed you guys goes in the carry-on that rolls i still haven't gone to what i'm going to put in my backpack my big camera of course i'm going to be taking with me this is the case this is empty right now because i'm using it to film but i'm definitely going to be taking my camera go inside the backpack let me see what i have in here oh here i have like some medicine like emergency I have some Advil. I have this cute little pill case from Henry Bendel. Here I put like some Excedrin in case I get like a headache. Some Tums. I always take stuff, hopefully, and most of the time, thankfully, thank God, I don't need them, but they always come in nice and handy when you're out of town because especially when you're going to like another country, you wanna have your stuff that you're familiar with with you. Then I have this bag and this bag has what? Oh, here I have my iPod case. This is the uh, Louis Vuitton from back in the day with the multicolor. This is for the iPod because I still have an iPod that I use. A lot of the times when I travel, I take the original iPod and I have one of the more latest versions. I think the last version before, you know, they discontinued it and it has just all my music in there. So I like to take it just so that my phone doesn't run out of battery. Then I'm also taking my vlogging camera. This is just convenient, just so I can maybe vlog for you guys on the flight or just something easy where I don't have to bust out the big one. The big one I feel like is something I would take on the excursions like when I'm in Italy. I also have this cute unicorn emoji juice pack. This is to charge up your cell phone. I actually have two of these that I like to take just in case. Ever since our Alaska trip where I was pretty much at the airport for 48 hours because my flights got delayed. Those things saved my life, so I always take those. I have um, an eye mask just to cover my eyes while I'm on the flight. I have my iPhone earphones. These are just my backups. I'll show you my nice earphones now. And I even carry like those little splitters in here. This is pretty much if I wanna watch something on my iPad and maybe my brother wants to watch the same thing we can both connect to the ipad and we can each connect our earphones to one so these i have in little bags i always like to carry things in little bags because that way you're not rummaging through your whole backpack at the flight like say you want to get something instead of just going through all your backpack you kind of just have to organize your little bags accordingly like here i know are like you know my electronics that i'm going to be using my eye mask you know i'm not gonna pull out the cord bag because i know that this is a bag with those things plus the things that i feel that i'm gonna pull out during the flight i always put in my backpack and the things that i put in the overhead compartment in that carry-on are things that i really won't be reaching for during the flight but if you have an emergency and you need to of course they're always there but I always try to carry what I'm gonna use on the flight in my backpack and I have that under my seat. Here I have another little bag that is also in my backpack. And here I have the wallet that I'm gonna be using on this trip. This is a smaller Kate Spade wallet. I like it because it's, you know, it fits a lot of stuff. I haven't even filled it up yet, but I just have it here so that I remember. And this is the one I'm gonna be taking because I still have my big wallet in my purse since I'm not leaving yet for a few days. And then um, I just like something a little bit smaller to take on a trip. Then I also have my passport is in this little case. This is from Henry Bendel. It matches the, um, the pill case or like the medicine case that I just showed you guys. The little box that you can put medicine in there. This in here, just so I don't forget. It's like the little, it's like the little Louis Vuitton type of pouch. It's a key pouch but you can put a lot of stuff there and a key. So I always take it with me because sometimes if I don't wanna carry the wallet or I have to add a couple more things here, maybe like spare change or something separate or even for the cruise where you take your CPAS card, I just like to have that, something else handy. And I keep that all in here. And here's where I probably would put my cell phone the day that I actually leave on the trip. So I know that this is the valuable little pack that I have to put at the bottom of the bag because it has all the important information that you can't live without like your passports and your money and your credit cards and all that stuff then i have this oh this i should probably put inside the roller carry-on this is a little lens bag for my smaller lens the other camera that i showed you guys the camera case holds the whole camera with the 
55 to 155 is that what it is well just the bigger lens and this is the short lens which is a 24 millimeter lens it's kind of like a little pancake lens and it fits in here so always keep your camera equipment safe but this is definitely something that i think i'm going to put inside my bag that rolls and then the last item that i have are my beats headphones and these are the beats headphones i have the purple ones these are like the medium size so these are the ones that i'm taking i like to wear these on the fly but sometimes i get sick of them after a while because they're like a little tight on my head and then that's when i reach for the regular white apple earphones that come with your phone and with all your electronics the last item which i did have outside of the bag just in case i fit it but i really don't think it's gonna fit and i'm not gonna take it is my panama hat since i'm gonna be going on a cruise i would love to take it i know for sure i wouldn't wear this in spain but I probably would love to wear this on the ship. But I'm thinking, I'm pretty much gonna be doing a lot of excursions most of the time and I won't be, I mean, this is really good to also obviously take care of your face from the sun. But if I was maybe, if I had more maybe at sea days, then I probably would take it. But since most of the days I'm gonna be in the actual, I mean, actually outside of the ship because I pretty much have an excursion every single day then I might not be taking this one. So this is my final check-in with the carry-on. In this bag, it also fit just so much better than the one that I had originally thought to use. Here what I did was I basically put the handbags, I have one Louis Vuitton here, and the pochette Matisse is nice and flat inside here, so it fits really nice. Then here I also have my camera, I have all the cords that are in this little baggie, cords, batteries for the cameras the chargers everything here's my jewelry and then pretty much on the bottom layer is where i put the bose bluetooth speaker i have a little mirror and basically i try to put everything in the little nooks as much as i can in the backpack i'm going to be taking the makeup case in there just because it's so big but the makeup case i don't mind if it kind of gets squished under my seat just because I think it'll be safe and it's a very, you know, it seems to be a very durable type of case. I didn't want to put the Louis Vuitton inside my backpack and put it under my seat just because I was scared it will get squished. And then here I just have and the little you know, pouches that I have organized. Those I really want inside my backpack because that way I can access them when I'm on the flight. So that I want under my seat in the backpack. So yeah, that's pretty much, I'm not gonna pack it in yet just because um, I'll probably do it right before I leave because I'm kind of just organizing all my documents and all that stuff and just finalizing things. I have to pack my camera, which I'm using to film now, charge my batteries. So I still have to do a little bit more before I close it out, but I did wanna show you exactly how it was that I organized them. To my right, you pretty much see the two suitcases that I am going to be checking in. And then here you have the backpack and the carry-on that I'm gonna roll that I'm taking with me on the flight. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this travel video. This will be the last one of my most recent packing videos. I'll go ahead and link the other ones down below and I'll also go ahead and list as many of the items as I can down below in case you guys want to check them out. As always, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.